take a look at worksheet 6a in this uh, area about area of sectors and circles and things. Um, I have to admit this is included here because this is some of my favorite fun stuff right here. I like this idea of uh, a region taken up by uh, a tethered animal. And that could be a goat or a, a dog or whatever. But let, let's start with the basic idea. If I had a, a stick and, and a leash attached to it and the dog was allowed to run basically, it would create a circular path, right? That, that my dog would create a circular region around around that where this would be my radius so that's a very simple idea whatever the length of the leash is becomes the radius and the dog or the goat or the pig or whatever it is can reach anywhere kind of within that region that's simple but if you put a building or an obstacle at the location where they're tied things get a little more interesting and that's why uh, you have to kind of think it through in your head to visualize what's taking place. So let's look at this. There's some building or barn or brick wall or whatever it is. And we have a dog with, uh, she 20 centimeters is <laughs> not very long. Uh, maybe we better make that 20 meters. That's, a, that's pretty long too. But anyways, uh, let's just make it this length, 20 of somethings. And, uh, and then the width here is four meters. Now, this dog has good rain to, um, and actually has pretty good case here to, um, would, if he was to go all the way, as far as he can along that fence line or that wall, would actually, the 20 and the 20 here would go right to that spot. The dog could continue in a circular pattern to get kind of up to this location and there's four here, so there would be 16 um, length beyond the building. But I guess what I would say is that's the first region that I imagine is that the dog can go straight west, if you want to think about it, go all the way down, all the way south, all the way east, and all the way north from the corner that he's been tied on. So the dog can basically see three-fourths of the circle that has a radius of 20, so pi r squared. So this represents this uh, this region here of the dog's paths. Now you'll notice that the string has come tight to here and four has been used leaving us with 16. So a different uh, a different radial path happens here and that is a quarter of a circle but the quarter of the circle will operate on a radius not of 20 but of 16 at this stage because of that amount that's been taken by the edge of the building it would be pulled tight at 16 and it would be a quarter and so um, I mean we could do the math here let's let's do the math here this is uh, 20 squared is 400 so that's 100 this is 300 pi here um, 16 times 16 256 of course divided by 4 uh, is 64 pi and actually that's a nice little problem of 364 pi centimeters squared or meters actually I think we were going with meters uh, and so on so there's trickier ones here but the idea is piece it out think about that rope that leash getting pulled tight and how much is left for the remaining sectors and arcs there's some good there's some good math here